Federal jury in San Francisco has awarded six former BART workers more than a million dollars each over BART's handling of its employee COVID-19 vaccine mandate. The six, who objected to the mandate on religious grounds and were fired, sued BART in 2022 for employment discrimination. This week, jurors agreed their religious objections were legit and BART had failed to prove that accommodating the workers' religious beliefs would cause them undue hardship. They can't just flippantly disregard people of faith uh, and treat them like second-class citizens. We hope that BART has received that message loud and clear. Brad Dacus is with the Pacific Justice Institute, which represented the six workers. He says the verdict puts employers on notice. There are heavy prices they're going to have to pay for their intolerance, bigotry, and uh, apparent lack of sensitivity for people of faith wanting to be reasonably accommodated. The BART lawsuit is one of thousands related to COVID vaccine mandates working their way through the legal system. Legal experts say many never make it to a jury trial because litigants either can't prove they have sincere religious objections or because the company has made accommodations. In the context of COVID-19, what a lot of employers have done is offer testing and masking as an alternative to vaccination. UC Law San Francisco professor Dorit Rice says the law allowing religious objections to workplace rules has been on the books since 1964. I think the take home for employers is take the law seriously, have a processing place to assess religious exemption and make a good a faith effort where, prob where you can to accommodate, all of which is what the law says. We reached out to BART, but they had no comment on the verdict. They do have the option of appealing.